If you want to find multi-baggers over in Brusa, Malaysia, this video is for you. So basically, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the stock Perak Transit, where if some of you have been following me, you would see that I actually acquired Perak Transit maybe two years ago at below 20 cents. And today, it's above one ringgit. So before we get to the background of everything, please stay tuned towards the end, where I'll be sharing with you on how to invest in 2023. So over here, if you're wondering about why I bought one stock of Perak Transit and why did I sell such an amazing stock, it's basically due to me retiring. And at that point in time, for me to conserve capital was so much more important. Stock as an asset class is quite volatile. There'll be times when stocks actually go up by 20% and there'll be times when stocks go down by 30%. So for me, I did not want to go through the anxiety of an up and down of a particular stock. That's one of the reasons why I put a little bit of money in the stock market. And this was during the MCO where, where there was a major sell-off. There was so much of fear in the market. And even I was fearful that I may lose money. So that's one of the reasons why I bought one stock. And to the second question, why do I even sell that stock off? Is basically the stock price actually hit my target price. And I actually made a 60% gain on that particular purchase. So that's one of the reasons why I sold the stock. Right now, looking at it at one ringgit, I feel that I sold it a bit too early. So right now, let us go to the more important question. What was my buying trigger? And from here, what we can learn moving on into 2023. So my buying triggers were as follows. During the whole MCO, I realized that the stock market actually had a major sell down. I had this one thought going through my head. When we are looking at the stock market in maybe a 20 or 30 or 40 year period, we will notice that every time when there is a dip, it will eventually go up and there's a dip, it will eventually go up. So for me, this was no different. This was a small little dip, which I estimated will eventually go up. And the second thought that went through my head is, when there is overselling, this is where we can actually find very good stocks at a very cheap price. And that was one of the reasons why I entered the stock market. And the third reason is that during the lockdowns, many people could not travel. And with that, there was a sell down in very good transport companies. And I knew this was a good buying opportunity. So diving even a little bit deeper, amongst the transport players, which I talked a little bit about, is the airline guys and also the bus guys. And one of the reasons why I like the bus guys is that they have a stronger balance sheet when compared to the airline counterparts. And for me, it was a no-brainer. Strong balance sheet and being oversold. For me, that was a buy signal. So long story short, these are the lessons that you may take for your investment strategy for 2023. If any of you actually made some money from Perak Transit, please put it down in the comment section and please put how many percent you guys actually made. If not, if you guys have any questions, please put it in the comment sections and let's have a discussion on this channel. If not, see you guys in the next episode.